Hello, I'm Anita Bozer, and going into the next installment of the book Read Along for Undulation, Relief, Stiffness, and Feel Young. This chapter is to improve posture. So there are four, uh, four undulations to improve posture that I'll be walking you through. But first, I want to talk a little bit about posture because the way we hold our body determines the way we move. And when we move in a good way, we facilitate good posture and vice versa. So we're going to look at alignment, not just for the sake of having good posture, but what gives us the most opportunities of movement. I've done a couple YouTube videos. One is ideal sitting and standing alignment, and the other is good sitting posture to reduce back and neck pain. So you can take a look at those to look specifically at how to sit and stand. But it's not just to come up with some ideal. What we're looking for is what type of alignment gives us the most possibilities for movement and what helps us move in a way that puts less wear and tear on the body. Now, we tend to have a lot of slumping forward just because a lot of our tasks are forward. And we've been taught to pull your shoulders back, right? So pulling your shoulders back puts a different pattern in the body. And what we're looking for is how do we have a natural pattern that's nice and easy and full of movement? That's the preface I'd like to give you for these undulations. And these are some pretty fun undulations. They're done standing for the most part. And hopefully I'll remember them and not need to go back to the book, but no guarantees on that. The first one is fountain. And this is actually a variation of an Eric Franklin exercise from dynamic alignment and imagery, or is it dynamic imagery and alignment? It's a wonderful book. But what we do here is our undulation is just to let ourselves, let ourselves go into that sinking posture where the chest falls forward, right? And then press into your feet, press your feet into the ground, and come up from the ground. And then let yourself sink down again. If you like to link things with your breath, I like to fold forward as I exhale, press down into the feet as you inhale and lift yourself up. So the shoulders come back naturally. We're not necessarily pulling them back. They're following the motion of the spine. So as the spine rounds forward, the shoulders fall forward. And as you press into your feet and lift up, the spine lifts up and the shoulders fall back. So that's fountain. A similar type of undulation rather than going forward and back, and this is more subtle, is called balance scale. We can do this in the grocery store. This is what I tend to do while I'm waiting in line. And it's simply shifting your weight from foot to foot. You can't see my feet, but um, I'm shifting my weight now into my left, no, my right foot. Sorry, yoga teacher training, doing things backwards. It's my right foot, your left if you're mirroring. And I'm going to press into that foot and transfer my weight over to the other side. So before we were pressing through both feet to lift ourselves up, now I'm pr pressing into one foot like I have one foot on a scale and the other foot on a scale, and I'm going from one to the other. So now my motion is side to side. I'm making it pretty big just because I want it to be visible to you on the video, but take a look at this. Here I am, and I'm going to transfer my weight, one foot, the next foot, okay, so right, and left. It's very subtle. If you were behind me in the line of the grocery store, you probably wouldn't even notice. And you can play with where the weight goes. So here I'm going to press through my right heel and the left ball of my foot. So I'm going to give myself a little wobble. Right heel, left ball. Right heel, Left heel, right ball of the foot. Ooh, that's harder for me to get through. Left heel. So I'm gonna work with that right ball of the foot since I'm not used to doing that. 
And you can see my spine does like a little, it's like, I'm really not sure how to follow that movement, but with a little bit of practice. Okay, so there we go. Little balance scale playing with different parts of the feet. That's a, I like that one. The next one is chicken walk, and this one's going to be a little funny. So um, we're going to be walking with our head jutting forward and back, because this is a posture that we see a lot, right? Don't we see this? Head forward, we're on our phones, we're at the computer, so there's a lot of head forward. So we're going to work with that posture, but make it very small. So here we go. Let the head go forward and bring it back. I want to remind you that everything with undulation is staying in your pain-free range. So we want to um, stay pain-free. So if this hurts, don't go that far. If pulling it back, don't feel like you need to come all the way back. I have some people, some clients who try to stand up against the wall and bring their head back to the wall. And if you have a lot of kyphosis, that's not going to be possible. So stay in your pain-free range. Know that if you stay in your pain-free range, your range will improve. If your posture improves a little bit, your movement will improve a little bit, so your posture will improve more. We don't have to take it all in one step. It's the little steps that add together that make improvement over the long run. So I'm going to walk back and forth here without talking, and you can see my chicken walk, um, and then I'll make fun of myself a little bit. Really get your chicken engine, you can get your wings into it so it could. Be. Which is kind of funny. But after you do that a little bit and you get loosened up, then you have more movement. And walking just becomes easier with better posture. The last undulation I'd like to show you, and actually might um, be going, might not be going in the order of the book, but it's Ferris wheel. And this is a variation on, um, on a belly dance move. And this was described to me by my belly dance teacher, Alele. And if you get the book, she's the one who is in the photographs in the book. She also happens to be on the cover because she's the most graceful living person I know. So we have here um, Ferris wheel. We're going to take our chest forward and back. So forward and back and forward and back. And then try up, coming up and down and up and down. So again, we're mobilizing the ribs. That's what a lot of these posture undulations have in common, is mobilizing the ribs here. And now let's try the Ferris wheel. So we're going to go forward and up and back and down. Forward, up, back, down. Trying to smooth it out. And then let's try to go the other way. So we go back, well, this is hard for me, back, up, forward, and down, back, up, forward, and down. I think it's good for you to see, see how jerky I am on it. So you can see the things we all need to work on stuff to keep our body as mobile as possible. Oh, so this is my reverse camel in belly dance, and it needs a lot, a lot a lot of work. But when you come across these little jerky, see see how jerky that is in my motion? That's because the connective tissue isn't fluid through that. The nervous system isn't used to those motions. And how do I make it better? Just by doing it. 
So a couple more. So those are the ones I want to work on. You want to work on the ones that you have um, the stickiest movement. It's harder for you. That's where we want to give a little bit of extra attention. So by doing the undulations, I already feel like I can lift my chest easily. I don't have to force my shoulders back. And one of the things we're always working on in structural integration is to get our lift from the ground. So getting that press down through the feet to lift my chest, to get myself in alignment, as opposed to trying to pull anything into any one spot. And hopefully these undulations make it easier for you. And one little advertisement, if you don't have a copy of my book, hopefully you can take a look for it on Amazon. Or maybe, here's even second advertisement, if you know of anybody who'd like to be more limber as they get older, maybe they'd like a copy for Christmas. End of advertisement. I look forward to seeing you next time for our next installment, which is going to be undulations for the core. That'll be fun. See you in a couple weeks.